What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18! Alright, guys, I have just put up the Drawbridge episode. Actually, I put up the last two episodes I just put up in, in reality, um, in real life, because these videos are recorded ahead of time, was the Drawbridge episode and the Nighttime Loot Run episode. Now, one thing you guys told me about the Nighttime, loot, the nighttime Looting episode is that when I was using the night vision goggles, um, I had my headlight on at the same time, all right? Uh, also, you guys gave me some ideas for the drawbridge. Now, we're going to take these two one at a time today, all right? Number one, the drawbridge. Some of you guys told me I could use two uh, motion sensors together. Now, I've been doing a little bit of testing here, and to make things go a little bit smoother, I am going to go into fly mode because I want to be able to, you know, do this smoothly and not take a freaking hour to do it. Okay, so here's the deal. You guys said I could use two motion sensors if I hooked them up one right after the other. Someone in the comments said, hook the battery bank up to the motion sensor, hook the next motion sensor up to the other motion sensor, hook that motion sensor directly into the drawbridge, okay? Now, I did this already, and I know 100% this works, okay? It works on that side, and if I come up through here, it's going to work on this side as well, okay? Great. Here's the problem. The, 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 like, the cords, the, um, you know, the wires are all in the way and really annoying, right? So, I was like, well, I'll just put down some, uh, you know, I'll put down some relays and we will, uh, take care of the extra wires so it doesn't look as bad, right? Well, let me know what I'm doing wrong here, okay? Now, as far as I can tell, relays are not supposed to, uh, like, get in the way in any way, shape, or form of the way things operate it's just the relay for you to bring the wire from one place to another but i'm telling you right now the relays are breaking this setup for some reason and i i don't quite know why okay you can see right there that motion sensor has no power this relay has no power actually didn't this relay have power before i no it didn't yeah see these relays have no power because this thing will not send power unless it sees me once it sees me it'll send power right or it's supposed to anyway yeah, there we go. It sees me now. Now it should be sending power. And it doesn't have power. I, I don't, I'm not really... This one has power. This one does not. Now it has power. It's so weird. Um, so anyway, uh, bottom line is, if I go from one motion sensor to the other motion sensor, straight to the drawbridge, it works. Okay? If I go, if I go from one motion sensor to um, a bunch of relays to get to the other motion sensor to get to the drawbridge, it does not work. All right, there you go. Watch. It won't do anything. See? This thing's spotting me. Right? Nothing's happening. This one will work. If this one spots me, it'll work. But this one doesn't. And actually, that one that one only spots me if this one sends the power. Like, if, if it sends the power within a certain amount of time. Like, right now, let's take a look. All right, so that is no power. Now, will that work? Yep, see, now this one doesn't work at all. Now, I don't, it's, it's very strange to me that the relays would break this. I'm not really sure why. Guys, I'm not, like, super familiar with this kind of stuff. If Let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Um, if I send it from the generator bank to this motion sensor, to the other motion sensor, and straight into the drawbridge, it does work. But then we have wires all over the place. If I use relays, right? Generator, motion sensor, relays, motion sensor, relays, drawbridge, it doesn't work. Okay, now there's one other thing I wanted to try, and, and this I already tried this, by the way. I know it doesn't work. Um, let's say if I, like, hooked up, let's unhook this. Okay, and unhook that. Okay, now we're going to hook the generator bank up into this, and that's going to make the, the one on the outside work. Okay, but now we don't have the one on the inside working. The one on the inside is not going to do anything because it's not hooked up. So, well, let's try and hook it up. We can hook the generator up to that. And now the generator is hooked up to that. So now this motion sensor is working. The problem is it's not hooked into the um, the drawbridge. Well, I got news for you. You can't hook two th direct things into the drawbridge. It doesn't work. For I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing, but it doesn't work. Well, maybe we could just hook this into the drawbridge and then hook this into the relay. Guess what? Can't have two relays. Can't have two separate wires going into one relay. So, I'm at a loss, guys. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to write down this episode right now because I'm really curious on how this electrical stuff works. Um, let me know what I'm doing wrong here. I, I'm totally lost. And just to reiterate, the, the idea that would work is generator, motion sensor. To motion sensor, to drawbridge. That would work, but the problem is the wires are all in the way. And as soon as I introduce um, electric wire relays, um, it doesn't work anymore. 
So just let me know. That's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to, I want to get that situated. So let me know in the comments, please, guys. I really want this to be a, a cool setup. All right, guys, and here we are on the roof. You might be saying, well, what the hell are we doing on the roof? Well, we're going to be doing some work on the roof. I want to make a landing and takeoff pad for this, uh, for this uh, gyrocopter. I think that'll be pretty cool. First thing we gotta do is clear this out a little bit. Now, oh, look at where I am. I'm right on top of my base. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oops, wait, how did I? There we go, oh, I'll chop through it. There we go, that's funny. I chopped right through it and broke my freaking thing. Um, okay, so here's the deal, guys. Um, the, the two things I wanted to talk to you guys most about today was the um, the motion sensor stuff. I've actually wrote, written down the episode on my notepad. Um, episode 85, asked about drawbridge motion sensor setup. Check comments. I want to know like what I'm missing because like, a lot of people gave me a lot of good tips. It's just weird that those, um, that those relays are causing issues. So I'm curious if there's anything I can do about it or if it's just kind of just the way it is. Why am I breaking these from the side? Let's break them from the let's break them from the side and let the inside fall. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the motion sensor stuff. Now, apparently, um, when I was not the motion sensor stuff, um, apparently when I was using the night vision goggles, I had my headlights on, my headlight lamp on. Um, you know what? I think it's important. I want to get the night vision goggles and show you exactly what um, people are telling me about because maybe not everyone knows about this. Um, so I'm going to grab the night vision goggles and I'm going to put them on. Oh, another thing someone commented, they were like, you know, I was talking about how I'm lo losing my loot bonus. You know, everyone and their mother wants me to spec into um, Lucky Looter. Um, the problem with specking into Lucky Looter is this is not the tree I'm going for. Now I can get Lucky Looter 3 with just one more point in this tree. Uh, what, when does the point start costing two? Oh, okay. So the point, they don't start costing two till six. So theoretically, I could get my lucky looter up to four without spending multiple points in any one perception. Wow. Lucky looter, you can get lucky looter five, only seven. That's amazing. I thought that would have been like 10. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that guys. I might actually do that. I was thinking about going better barter like five. Um, and really put, you see, the thing is guys, if I start spreading my points around, better barter is never going to get above three, right? Do I care? This is kind of an intellect build, although next, 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 uh, episodes, next season's build will also be an intellect build and I'm not doing perception next season. So maybe I will kind of spread out the, the, the lucky looter a little bit. Although I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. I feel like my loot, the stuff I've gotten loot has been pretty good already. So, I don't know. I'll think about that. That's not really what this episode's about. And now I've just gotten completely sidetracked. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, I'm not going perception tree. And because I'm not doing a perception tree, I don't really want to go deep into the tree. Although, to be fair, Lucky Looter, Perception 3, or even 5, is not really that bad. Because they're only one point apiece. So, I will admit that. If I wanted to get 3, 4, and 5, that'd be 3 points. It'd be 5 points to get Lucky Looter 4. Not really the craziest thing in the world, but just to understand, guys, I'm not doing the perception tree, so I'm kind of trying to stay away from it. Maybe, you know, you don't have to, but I don't know. It's just kind of the way I want to play. All right, so, um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying about with the uh, night vision goggles. So, you see how the night vision goggles are on? If you hold down F, you can turn the light off or on. And apparently, my light was on most of the time. I don't know, guys. There's going to be no real way to test this because there's so many lights in here. I'm going to have to test this at night. Bottom line is, um, when I was using the night vision goggles, my, my helmet light was on, and that's what was causing the um, the issue with the brightness. So we'll, we'll mess around with it. We'll mess around with it again. We will mess around with it again. All right, so let's get up on the roof, and let's go ahead. First thing we're going to do is we're going to harvest our crops. Because I think that needs to be our number one concern. Because we need to make paint. Because I'm going to want to paint like a big runway up here. I think it'll be pretty cool. Right? So let's come on up here. And go ahead and punch the crops. And we're going to harvest all these. And the reason I'm harvesting the crops... Oh, look! But pumpkins! What can I make of pumpkins? Max stamina. Food. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Recipes. I can make a jack-o'-lantern. Ooh, it's a little late for that, but... I can make pumpkin bread, pumpkin, oh god, pumpkin cheesecake. That sounds amazing! Alright, well, let's go ahead and punch the rest of these things. And the reason I'm uh, harvesting, by the way, um, please, Funtims, for the love of God and all that is holy in this world and good and, and fair, please put this back to E's pickup. I don't know why we're punching crops, man. Like, I'm, I'm over it, you know? I mean, they might never fix it, and, and I'm going to say fix it because I think it's pretty messed up right now. Uh, they might never fix it, but 
you know, whatever. I can hope, right? Anyway, uh, the reason I wanted to harvest all the crops is because I'm going to need chrysanthemums and I think goldenrod as well because we're going to make paint. Because I want to, I want to paint like a nice runway up on the. Uh, hopefully, I can make some kind of runway on the roof. I don't, I don't really know what the options are that would make a runway look good. So we'll have to see. All right, paint. Um, oh, it's just chrysanthemums. Okay, I thought it was like a bunch of different things. I'm thinking of Alpha Seventeen. All right, we need some oil. Oil, oil, oil. Oh, we still have 280. That's good, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, paintbrush and oil. I have to make some oil, man. And the oil goes quick. My goodness, the oil goes quick. Nice thing about the paint in this game is you get a lot of paint per combine. I mean, I got like over a thousand paint now. <laughs> so that's pretty freaking cool. Alright, so um, right here, we're just going to kind of block this up like so. Don't have to get too, uh, too special up here. So go ahead and do that. I should have plenty of wood for this. I think I brought my nail gun. Look at me all being kind of prepared. All right, here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to have uh, a east to west landing pad. Okay. I'm also going to uh, put up some uh, lights, and I'm I'm actually thinking about using a motion sensor to kind of spot me when I'm in the sky and turn on the lights. So when I'm coming in for a landing, if it's nighttime, I could like kind of see what I'm doing. I mean, it's really not necessary one bit, but who cares? It's it's freaking awesome. Now that I got those motion sensors going, I want to I want to definitely use them. I was actually thinking about using a drawbridge, just kind of like blocking off the uh, the side, because we're gonna have to break out the side. It's kind of annoying to like try and get enough speed to like get over the little lip. So we're gonna actually have part of the side. Um, we're gonna break out part of the side over there. I just have to figure out exactly where the runway is gonna be. Okay, right. go. And now the next step is to get rid of this. Okay. Oh boy. Got a runway going here, people. Pretty freaking sweet. I do like the gyrocopter a lot. I haven't put up that episode yet. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Really happy with that, man. Ugh, so cool. Okay. I'm just gonna start bringing my wrench everywhere. With me, it's gonna take up a spot in my inventory from now on. Okay, there we go. Click, kitty, click, click. Click, kitty, click. Okay. Now we have to decide where the runway's gonna go. I, I'm not gonna put this in the middle of the map because I don't think it really matters, but I think I'll just put it, line it up with this, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sounds good to me. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that means oh, this is gonna be in the way. Hmm. We could <coughs> we could always move this somewhere, and I think I'm going to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're gonna come this way, and we're just gonna kind of line this up. All right, and then we're gonna line up this side. Again, I'm gonna break that. I'm gonna break this out and have a different entrance. Maybe we should put like a, a staircase instead of ladders. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I don't imagine zombies are gonna be all up parachute parachuting, you know, onto the roof of my base or climbing up the walls World War Z style. So shouldn't really be too much of an issue, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna break this out. I'm gonna break it out on the other side too. All right, people, cover up your loved one's ears. Cover cover up grandma's ears. Cover up whoever's listening. Cause fuck this. This is taking forever to break out. I don't think so. There we go. See, now that's nice. So, you want to use this stuff on really solid areas. Because you don't want to use it anywhere where there's wood. But anywhere where there's, like, just stone. Like, this 25 hit point stone bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's where you want to use that dynamite. Hell is the freaking... Yeah, I'll even rebuild this. I don't give a crap. Oh, my goodness. What a pain in the ass. Come on. We can just repair all this. I don't really care, man. That was just a like I'm sitting there breaking out with the um, with the with the freaking thing. By the way, I should upgrade this to cobblestone. Uh, yeah, I probably should. I mean, well, okay, dude, who really cares? Whatever, just get this done. It doesn't matter. You can always paint it. Nothing's gonna be attacking anything up here, so not really a big deal. But yeah, I'm sitting here breaking this thing out with like a million hit points. I'm like, give me a break, dude. Like, this is taking, this is taking forever. I don't need this. I don't have time for this. 
So there we go. And we can't repair. Oh, that's concrete. Huh? Well, whatever. I might actually break that out and replace it with wood then. <laughs> but uh, see that now that's a that's annoying now. I don't want to waste concrete on this. So, uh, but I don't want to break it all out either. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. A little bit of an annoyance there. Because now i got to break all this out. I wouldn't have broken out beforehand. Uh, I'm just going to use the concrete. I don't, I don't care that much. My time's worth more than the concrete. Alright, so now we got that part done. So should we use this on the other side now? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a lot of concrete wasted there. But honestly, I don't really think I care. This is taking too freaking long. One thing I will do is move this. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, it's getting much easier to take off in this thing now. Uh, I'm not trying to take off, dude. I'm trying to stop. There we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these down and sacrifice these wood blocks in hopes that they will protect the concrete below and it won't get damaged. Will it work? I have no clue. Fire in the hole! It worked! Oh my god! It completely worked! Those little wood frames, those little itsy bitsy tiny wood frames protected these this concrete below. 100%. That is actually pretty unbelievable. Wow. That is very surprising. Wish I did it on the other side now. Collect the wood. Now we're even getting a lot of the wood back. Wow, that is freaking sweet, man. That worked out really well. So guys, you can use the dynamite. Just um, put down some wood block. You don't even have to upgrade the wood blocks. Just put down wood frames. They're dirt cheap, man. And it's going to save you a lot of time and energy. Look at this. It didn't even break below. Wow. That's actually unbelievably effective. I'm shocked at how effective that was. Wow. Just amazing. There we go. All right, we gotta move this right now. I'm not really sure where to. Oh god, it's gonna be, it's gonna be concrete. All right, well this is just one piece of concrete, so this isn't really that big of a deal. So I'm just gonna dig a hole right here. Hopefully it won't be in a any spot where I can't just kind of get up. And I don't really want to deal with the entrance right now though. Um, of course it it's in a spot where I can't get up. What is that? Is that a, is it a piece of the wall? I'm not really sure what that is. I just want to be able to get down and down there and up everything. I could probably do it right in front of my base, but and I'm eventually going to make... Okay, screw you. Seriously. You know what? I should have done it here in the first place. There we go. Look how easy that was. See? Piece of cake. Um, okay, so this can get covered back up then. And there we go. I'll paint it later. Make it look real nice. And now we can block this up completely. And again, I'm going to make a staircase coming up here. At some point. That should be pretty fun. There we go. Okay. And now it's paint time. Oh, that's right. I can't make that here because it's going to be part of the runway. Ugh. God, you're killing me. You're killing me, game. All right. Um, the, yeah, it looks like these uh, these ceilings are like too high or something. Um, so, yeah, you'd have to dig through like two, 225 hit point blocks or whatever two twenty five hundred hit point blocks i'll eventually do that but for now i'm just going to kind of come up the side here just easier because i can't have it here because this is going to be part of the runway all right well you know we're working on it we're working the problem okay so let's grab our trusty paintbrush and i would like the sides to be yellow that's the only yellow i see i don't, I don't like mustard i think yellow right here and then we want the outsides to be... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Actually, um, maybe every other. And then have a black. So what we could do is... We could do... Here, let's do this. Granite. Black. How many black? And then three yellows, maybe. I'd like to put some black in there just to kind of break it up. Although, I don't really know if that... Basically, I want the... The, this to be black as well. No, that doesn't look right. That that looks like too shiny. That looks too shiny. I need something that looks more like concrete. Is it like a black concrete or... It doesn't look like it. There's not a black concrete? 
I guess I can make it gray. And I gotta be honest, guys, I don't really see any black that I kind of like. Um, this is the closest black that I like. There's no black. There should be like a concrete black, shouldn't there? I don't know. Maybe there is somewhere and I'm just missing it. But yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, but here we go. So I'm thinking like, and uh, since I can't find any good, like, looking black, you know, tiles, I'm thinking these uh, metal tread plates are probably pretty decent. Uh, can we do the paint roller? Yes, we can. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Nice, nice little uh, landing pad here. I don't know anything else that would make a, a cooler looking landing pad type thing. Um, obviously, you don't want anything that's like like brick or anything like that. It doesn't look good, like a nice thing to land on. Um, some of these might look okay. I don't know what that is. What is this? Take a look at this one. That's not bad either, although I don't think it's as good as the one I'm looking at. Or the one I'm using. I could just use another color concrete thing. What would go with yellow? Black. Honestly, black. I mean, is there a white? Metal white? Oh, that's too white. That is way too white. Jesus, making my freaking eyes burn. I feel like... You ever watch Supernatural? I feel like I just looked at an angel. Uh, yeah, I don't really see anything else. Uh, oh, gray? Eh, gray's not too bad, I guess. See, the thing is, these little, like, tile things, I don't think this would be good for, like... I think these are these are good things to walk on in real life. I don't think it's something you'd want to run wheels over, though. If you, I mean, think about it. If you went over these things with wheels, you'd be going, like, boop, 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 right? So, they look pretty cool, but I don't think they would really work, and that would bother me. Um, so, what other ones could I be able to use with yellow? I mean, I don't want to do yellow and red. That's they It's too... Those are two bright colors. I don't really like that. Obviously, we're not going to use carpet. Although, does it look like carpet? I guess if it doesn't look like carpet, it doesn't matter. All right. While I don't love the granite that much, I think it is the best looking option here. So, we're going to go ahead and use that. The hell of it. There we go. Yeah, I like the black on the sides. and Or the black on the inside and the yellow on the sides. I think that's a pretty cool looking uh, landing pad. There we go. And boom. All right, now we go back to regular paintbrush. And we go like so. Oh my god, this is so slow. If I, I if I use it, if I use the um the roller right here, that should work, right? Yeah, but look at that. It takes Oh no, it's only taking one, but it's Oh, hold on. Okay, so we can use the roller. So this should take 3. 748. Okay, cool. So it doesn't actually waste it like at all. That's so cool. Yeah, the roller works pretty good. So if you're using the roller, even though technically it's like it would take a bunch of spots, if it's all it only takes the paint for the spots you actually paint, which is just phenomenal. There we go. I like the roller, man. It works pretty good. Get a little dark here. And I don't have well actually I do have them on me. So let's uh Kind of see what we can do here. All right, so that's got to be off. Yep. So that was my headlights off. So headlight on, headlight off. They're on. That's on. That's off. Okay. Now I don't really think painting with night vision goggles is that good, but <laughs> yeah. oh wait. Hmm. Can you not? Really? Wait, what? What am I doing wrong here? I'm confused. Wait, what? Oh, I must have went back to the to the uh, other thing. There we go. I'll paint in the uh, in the night vision goggles. I'll just make sure that's not on. There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're right. With, without the headlight on it, it is much better. Much better. Get this going, man. I want to get this done. Oh, that's too far. Oh, wait, wait. No, that's not supposed to be going that far anyway. The hell. We're actually, uh, we're done here. That's as wide as it's going to be. All right. So let me grab my concrete yellow and go there. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, so I don't have time to put down the, um, the lights. 
So I just had to turn up the gamma. I think this looks pretty cool. Let's uh, let's get on out there. Let's uh, see if we can take off and land on this thing pretty easily. All right. Now again, I'd like to not have to use the gamma, but it is what it is. Once we get the lights up, it should be a lot easier. Yeah, I mean it's simple, but I like it. I think it's gonna work out really well. Yeah. Alright, this thing's pretty forgiving. <laughs> it really is. This uh this gyrocopter, the, the controls on it leave a lot to be desired. But oh look at that. It looks pretty Oh, see if you get too far away. All the stuff that was there before that you broke out comes back. Uh this isn't well, you know what we could do? We could just kinda go off to the side. And then that way we don't go off the edge. Alright, well, you know what? My own flying uh, needs some work. But, yeah, I mean, the, the runway is pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it came out. All right, guys. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.